Hello and welcome to this art workshop provided by Arts for All Nevada and Washoe County School District. Today we're going to create a monster using the idea of contrast to make his bright light shape stand out against a dark background. We're also maybe going to add some texture to him so that he looks like he's bumpy against a plain background. The materials you'll need are some paper, I've got some black paper, a colour of your choice and some white and some extra black, um, scissors, a glue stick, you may want the pencil if you want to draw things out and colours for the texture, a colour that's close but a little bit darker than your monster colour and a black to also give some contrast to that. So the artist we're going to look at today is a contemporary artist, so one that is working today, and his name is Stefan G. Buscher. He was originally born in Germany, but he moved to uh, California, studied and worked, um, working on these monsters. Um, he has done. He works in. A, he worked in a graphic design studio and then he set up his own company and he's done lots of uh, CD covers, film titles, um, TV shows, he's written and drawn or illustrated several books. He's also very for famous for creating what was called a daily monster which you could see online which over a hundred days he created monsters every evening just from using ink blots. And the reason I've chosen it, I like the idea that just from putting an ink block blot on the paper, not really having any real idea of what's going to happen, he's created something that we can recognise, in this case as a, his type of monster, but he, he's embraced the idea of he doesn't have to plan ahead, he doesn't know if he's going to make mistakes or he's had to use the mistakes and made them into different ways, and we're going to use that idea of whatever we do to create our own sort of monster. So the book that I've got you today is called The Colour Monster, a story about emotions. So we've got different coloured monsters on the covers, so we'll see what they all stand for. This is The Colour Monster. Today he woke up feeling confused. He didn't know why. Are you all mixed up again, Colour Monster? Your emotions don't work well when they're all jumbled up. You should try to separate them and put them into one into each of their own jars. If you like, I can help you. Let's try to make sense of how you feel. This is happiness. It shines yellow like the sun and twinkles like the stars. When you're happy, you laugh and jump and dance and play. You want to share your happiness with everyone. This is sadness. It's lonely and blue like a rainy day. It washes over you like the sea. When you're sad, you hide and want to be alone. You don't want to do anything except maybe cry. It's okay to cry, colour monster. This is angry. It burns red like fire and is hard to stamp out. When you're angry, life can feel unfair. Sometimes you want to take out your anger on others, but I'll be nice to you, colour monster, and your anger will disappear. This is fear. It hides and runs away like a mouse in the night. When you're afraid, you feel tiny. You think you don't have the courage to face the grey shadows, but I can help you find a way out. This is calm. This is quiet like the trees and as light as green leaves swaying in the wind. When you're calm, you breathe slowly and deeply. You feel at peace. Now you can rest, colour monster. All your feelings are in the right place. See, don't you feel much better? Uh-oh, I see you're feeling something new. 
You look different, Colour Monster. Tell me, how do you feel now? Got these big love hearts around. He's feeling really pink. So colours can make us or be interpreted of what different ways that we feel. So the one that I showed you earlier was a green monster, so it was nice and calm. I think we're going to do a different colour for our next one. The words that we're going to use today are contrast, symmetrical and collage. So let me get a pen to show you. So contrast is differences between things. So it could be the difference between something being light or dark. It could be something being plain or with a pattern over it. Or it could be something being plain or smooth with a texture over it, something how it feels. It could be a feel bumpy, or maybe it's the monster, it could be furry. Symmetrical is something where it is the same on both sides. So a circle has a line of symmetry, which is a line that goes right down the middle, which means both sides are the same. We're gonna use our monster I'm going to do a really simple shape of the monster and he's going to have a line of symmetry so that means if we put one arm on this side we've got to put one arm on this side to make sure it matches and if we put one leg on this side we've got to put one leg on the other side so that's a symmetrical shape. Collage is the idea of using pieces of paper or fabric or different materials which you could tear or cut and stick down together to make a picture. Something, sometimes it could be something that looks realistic, sometimes it could be something that's quite abstract, but it's using different materials to come up with an image that has some interest to it. So our, our monster today is going to be made by using collage. So we're gonna have a black paper, piece of paper for the background. And I'm gonna use this pinky piece of paper, it's called magenta, for our monster. So what I suggest you do to first of all is fold it in half so that we've got two sides and then you can cut, cut it in the middle so you've got one part for your body and then one part for your arms and legs. Now, this is roughly going to be about the right side of the body, but it's not very interesting just being a rectangle. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to cut across the top and I'm gonna make some of his fur. So I'm just gonna cut some triangle shapes. So you can cut him from the edges and just give those triangles. We could have straight down sides, or maybe I'm going to make it a little bit smaller as it comes into the bottom, so it's a little bit more shaped. And then I'm going to do the same thing on the bottom, so it looks like he's got fur all over his body. Push those to the side. I'm not going to glue anything until I've cut all my pieces out so I know that I've got everything. Now remember we're going to have a symmetrical monster so I'm going to fold the second piece in half and I'm going to cut some or oh, one shape for his feet. I'm just going to do it like an L shape and because we've got it in half I'm going to open it out We'll put one on one side, one on the other side. You don't have to do the same shapes as mine. I'm just giving you a guide of something you can do. I am not drawing my shapes out, but if you would like to. So I'm going to do some arms. We'll give him some fingers, just like his fur. And again, it's folded together. 
something like this you can cut out roughly first and then cut the other bits out they're a little bit more complicated as you go oh and we've got two so we need to cut him in half if you draw it out and you've got pencil on one side, I would turn that over so that's the bit that's going to go on the other side so you can't see it. So that's roughly our monstrous shape. So I'm going to start gluing him down. So take him off the paper, glue all the way around your shape, not just in the middle. Make sure he actually sticks on the paper because otherwise it'll fall apart. I'm going to do the arms and legs first. And then I will do the body. I like a glue stick. It's nice and clean, not too messy, but you do go through them quite quickly. So don't roll it up too high, just do a little bit. And then let's take his body off. And we'll put some glue on here as well. Go all the way around. Make sure you do the tops and the bottoms of the fur. The reason I don't do it on the paper is that we don't get extra glue on the paper. Because even though it dries clear, you can still see the marks on it. So let's put him back and we'll put him roughly where I think he should be. So we've got our first part of contrast. We've got our dark background with our bright colour of our shape of our monster standing over the top. But we need to give him some features. So I've got some extra black paper. I'm gonna fold it in half again. I think my monsters are love monsters. So I think I'm gonna do a smiley face. You decide what sort of mouth you want. And again, I'm only gonna do half the mouth because if I fold it out, it's going to be the same on the other side. So let's stick him down there. And I'm going to do some eyes. I think we'll do some sort of overly eyes. So, And I'm just cutting and seeing what happens. If I do them too big, which I think these eyes are going to be a little bit too big maybe. Just put them back together and recut it. Make it a little bit smaller. If you don't want to cut, you could maybe look and see if you can find some white stickers that you can use, or maybe you've got some stickers. You don't have to do white eyes, you might have a completely different colour. It's entirely up to you what you want to do. There he is. I'm going to give him some teeth. So again, I can cut on the middle of my paper. And then I'll do that in the middle. So I'll get two teeth that are exactly the same. So I'll do one on one side. And one on the other side. I'm building him up as I go along. I'm going to use the black paper to do some pupils, some centres of his eyes. Again, I cut them together. Stick into my fingers, there we go. When you put the pupils on, he starts looking a little bit more alive. And the ones in the book had eyebrows, so let's think about this. Let's have a go. We'll go around. And I'm going to use those zigzag lines again. And these are joined together, so we can stick them there. If you want to separate them apart, you can do that. It's your monster, so you can decide if he's actually got three eyes, two mouths, 
you can decide what you want to do that. So there's our basic shape of our monster. And we're using those really light and dark colors to give him some features and make him stand out against the background. So we're also going to make him feel like he's got a texture, like he's furry against this plain background. So I'm just going to use the closest color I have. I don't have a pinky color in the wax crayon, so I'm actually going to use purple. And I'm just going to do some lines, little lines all the way over him. Just on the color background right in the middle here, just to make it look like he's furry. And on his hands and on his feet. And then I've actually got a black one as well, so I'm going to do exactly the same. Just to add a little bit more depth, because when you're looking at something that's got a texture, it's usually got some shadows on it. So there's usually some bits that are a little bit darker. So if you want to, you can use the black. You can leave it like that, or you can use the black to outline his eyes. Maybe you're going to give him some claws. You decide what sort of detail you want to add to him, how you want him to make him stand out. And there's our monster, our contrast monster. So you can put this to the side, it doesn't need to dry particularly. But if you want to do another thing to do with the monster, you could maybe think about doing something like Stefan Buscher. And these are some monsters that I've made by blowing um, paint, very liquidy paint over and then adding features onto them. So the way that I've done that, just using some white paper and tempera paint. The biggest thing with this is make sure you make it really runny. So put some on the paper, put some water in it and then using a straw, you're gonna blow down on it. Now you can give it some direction by blowing at an angle, or if you blow down and you move it around, it will change it. So let's have a go. And you can add more paint in the middle of it. Drop some water over the top of it. You can even put some different colours in it. Maybe you're going to have some yellow, maybe around the bottom. Maybe I'm going to turn him and blow him the other way. If you find it difficult to blow, I've found if you use one of these bowl syringes with some water on it, you can even push the paper to an angle slightly, it will have the same effect. It's a little bit slower to do, but it will work as well. So you can leave that to dry and then you can see if you can see a monster, turn it around different ways. This one I've made sort of a bird with a wing and put an eye on there. And this one I've used stickers over the top and added some detail with the eyelashes and a mouth. So have a play around, see what you can come up with and have a play with your contrast, light and darks, patterns against plain, textures against smooth. All right, thank you. See you next time. Bye.